Today we'll be making the flying guillotine from TF2. There are things you will need. Cardboard, box cutter, hot glue, straight edge, pencil, scissors, exacto knife, mod podge, sponge brush, spray paint, paintbrush, burnt sienna acrylic paint, raw sienna acrylic paint, and a fine point sharpie. First I start out by drawing the shape of a flying guillotine onto some Cirobots cardboard uh, using a pencil just so I could erase any mistakes. And I cut it out with an X-Acto knife. And I use that to trace it onto some thicker cardboard. And I did make the blade just a little bit smaller so I could give it a nice uh, sharp edge later. And then I cut it out with a box cutter and an X-Acto knife. Then to make the handle a little bit thicker, I trace the handle onto some cardboard and cut it out with a box cutter. Then to add some detail to the handles, I traced uh, the handle onto some Cerebos cardboard and then cut it out with box cutter. And I cut out three circles with an X-Acto blade uh, to match the three circles uh, that it has on the handle in game. I glued everything together with hot glue. Starting with that uh, first piece I cut out uh, from Cerebos cardboard and those two pieces uh, I cut out of thicker cardboard. Just glued those together, make sure everything is lined up. I glued on the handles. Then I glued on the detail pieces for the handle. And then I kind of wanted to smooth out the blade, so I just traced and cut out uh, the blade out of some Cerebos cardboard. I uh, just glued it on there just to smooth everything out and also just kind of give it a more uniform look. And then I made the edge of the blade uh, by getting some more Cerebos cardboard, gluing it on, uh, kind of at that angle with hot glue. And I cut off the excess and then I did the same thing to the other side, just gluing on that piece of uh, Cerebos cardboard, trimming off the excess, and that's then you got yourself a nice uh, blade edge. Then I covered up all the corrugation and gaps with some Cerebos cardboard. Then I primed it with some just flat gray primer. Then I painted the whole thing metallic silver. Then I painted the handle with some burnt sienna acrylic paint. Uh, it did take me a few coats just to get a nice color. Uh, I had to be careful around uh, the parts I still want to be silver. Um, I did make a few mistakes, but I just went back in with a silver sharpie to cover those up. Then to give the handle a little bit more texture, I got some uh, raw sienna and dry brushed it over the handle just kind of give that more of that wood grain look and i covered it in mod podge just kind of seal everything in I drew on the Chinese characters onto the blade with a fine point marker. Uh, I would recommend to um, put a layer of Mod Podge uh, over it just so the marker doesn't smudge. Because um, if, if you don't do that, it will smudge and then you'll have to redo it, which is annoying. But 
after that it was done. Uh, I'm pretty happy with how it's turned out. Uh, so yeah, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time.